Okay, so when you're ready, come to a comfortable seat. Whether that be with the legs crossed, sitting on the heels, whatever is most comfortable to you. We'll bring the hands to the knees, the palms either facing towards the sky if you need some energy today, or you can have them facing down if you need some grounding. So that's entirely up to you. And then bring the eyes down to close. Notice if you have any tension in the body. Can you soften the shoulders as they come away from the ears? Find length in the spine. Do you sit tall? Neck long. Chest proud. And start to connect with the breath. See if you can lengthen out the breath more. Find depth in both the inhale and the exhale. And in today's class, the intention you set today is accepted. Whether that be finding acceptance for ourselves, for others, for life, and just learn to let go. And the mantra that we bring with us today is Om Tat Sat. Om Tat Sat. And Om Tat Sat means it is what it is. So accepting life as it is. When we find space in our heart to allow that acceptance, begin, begin to feel lighter. We're freeing up space to bring in all the good things that we need. And ridding any of that space that we no longer need ridding yourself of any judgment, any grudges that you may be holding on to, any bias, leaving space in the heart for unconditional love, and compassion for yourself and others. As you breathe in, imagine creating that space in your heart. And as you breathe out, finding more space as you let go of what you don't need. Breathe in to create space. Breathe in the goodness. And as we exhale, we flush out, we let go. Just 
continue to connect with your breath. One of the greatest gifts that you can find from yoga and meditation is the magic that can unfold as we embark upon the journey inward into the divine and the universal self. We begin to see all the ways in which we disapprove of ourselves of others and of life as it is. In the light of this awareness, we have two choices. We can choose to be more critical and harsh, which can morph into a perpetual state of self-loathing. Or, we accept ourselves, others, and life as it is. In choosing this path of acceptance, the struggle we once knew lifts from our shoulders and from our heart. The body begins to loosen. The face softens more and we start to look more youthful, appear more youthful as we let go of anything that may be pulling us down and holding us back. We relax into ourselves and find comfort in our own skin and confidence walking in our own shoes as we relax into life as it is. we start to give ourselves permission to have our flaws. And our need for external validation diminishes. The wondrous gift of acceptance emerges. We feel more free. We feel lighter. And we become more open to all of life. The abundance that we can see. We rise up to accept our blossom. And as we go through today's practice. Carry that intention of your heart of the acceptance that we need. The acceptance for ourselves, others, and life. And I remind you of the mantra, Wum Pat Sa. It is what it is. Start to bring some awareness back to the body now. And roll the shoulders if that feels good. Bring the body back up. Gently opening the eyes when you're ready. If you want to grab some water before we begin our yoga practice, you can do. Otherwise, if you want to move straight up, I'll give you a couple of couple of seconds to grab your water if you do want to drink. And we're going to start our yoga practice today on our knees. 
So come into a kneeling position and come to sit on your heels. So heels to glutes, if that's uncomfortable, you can grab a pillow and pop it in between or pop it underneath your knees. Just rest here for a moment. Arms hang heavy. See if you can draw the shoulders away from the ears. And close down the eyes again if you wish. All together, we take a deep inhale as we rise our arms all the way up to the sky. Hands deep in prayer. And as you exhale, bring prayer down to heart center and bow towards your hands. I'd like you to place your thumbs on your heart here. So pressing against almost your sternum, so your heart center. Just take a couple of breaths here. And I'd like you to think of something that you need to let go of in this practice. Something that you just need to accept and let go of. Creating more space in your heart for the things that you need. Lifting the head once more, coming back to your new position. Inhale as you take the arms up to the sky again. And meet in prayer. Exhale, prayer comes down to heart center. One more time. Inhale, arms come all the way up to the sky. And meet in prayer. Exhale as prayer comes down to heart center. And then we're going to come up onto the knees now. Inhale, reach the arms up once more, hands meet in prayer. And just take a gentle back bend here. Just small, doesn't need to be anything big. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, your palms come down, heart center. But then take them to the floor in front of you. Now you can either come into child's pose here, or if you want a little bit more, bring the forearms forward and lower the chest with the hips still in the sky in your puppy pose. See if you can bring your chest further down to the floor if you're in puppy pose. Deep inhale and exhale as you walk back. And then bring the arms up once more as you come onto your knees. Arms come up to the sky, hands with some prayer. Exhale, prayer comes down to heart center. Lean forward once more either into your puppy pose or to your child's pose. Deep inhale, and exhale, walk the hands back. Send the knees wide now as the big toes come together as we come into a full child's pose. Walk the hands forward, and then follow with the chest, and then the third eye as you bring the forehead to the mat. If you can reach the fingertips further away, whilst also pushing the glutes towards the heels. Spread the fingertips into the earth and really feel that energetic pull from both the hands and from the hips. And on your next inhale, come up onto your fingertips 
as you raise the chest and send the gaze through. Exhale, bring the chest back down to the floor. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale, come back down. One more round. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, come back down. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, take the right arm and sweep it through the left armpit as you bring the right ear down to the mat. So we're mixing up our thread the needle in our child's pose today. Deep inhale and exhale, bring the arm back forward as you come back into your child's pose. Inhale and exhale as you bring the left arm through the right armpit now and bring the left ear down to the floor. And see if you can walk the hand the right hand further forward so you can feel that deeper stretch through the side of the body. Remember to keep that connection with your breath. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, bring the arm back forward as we come into child pose once more. And I'd like everyone to take a cleansing breath here. But firstly, take your mind back to that thought of something that you needed to let go of. So we take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, sigh and release what you need to let go of. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale, sigh, release. And as we go through the remainder of our practice, I'd like you to try and engage a breath called the Ujjayi breath. The Ujjayi breath is the ocean breath. And this is where we seal our lips and we almost try to constrict the throat so we make a noise. You're taking deep inhale and your exhale through the nostril. The lips remain sealed. So when you exhale, imagine trying to fog up a mirror. And you start to begin to make that noise of the ocean. So take a deep, deep inhale. And as you exhale, walk the hand and come up into your tabletop. Walk the hands forward again once you get into your tabletop, just a couple of inches further in front of you. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower the chest as you leave the hips in the air. Inhale as you push up to your baby cobra. And exhale as you want up the toes and push up into your down. Find your downward dog pose for your practice, checking in, starting from the earth, seeing if you can draw your heels further to the ground, spreading the fingertips into the earth. Spine as long as you bring your chest down to the floor.
You can walk out the feet here, taking your time, bending one knee as the opposite heel comes down to the ground. You can bend the knees across the body here, starting to find movement in the hips as we warm up the body. And then just gently move the head left to right to say no. And then up and down to say yes. And find stillness in your downward dog once more. Take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, start to walk the feet to the top of your mat as you land in your forward fold. And just explore your forward fold here. Can you bring the chest further down? Bend into the knees if you have tight hamstrings. And hold on to the back of the ankles if that feels good to use the strength of your arms to pull the forehead closer to the knee. And then just let the arms hang heavy now. You're not holding any tension anywhere. The crown releases down to the earth. Like we did in our meditation. Inhale to good space. And as you exhale, flush out the bad space and let the crown take it out as it goes into the floor. And on your next inhale, start to slowly rise, taking your time. One vertebrae at a time. Keep the head being the last to come up. In your mountain pose. Just relax the shoulders as they draw away from the ears once more. See if you can open the chest more as the shoulder blades come back to the and the palm face forward. Take a deep inhale, get the arms to the sky. And as you exhale, cactus the arms open as you bend into the elbow, opening the chest, letting the heart shine. And then as you exhale, take the arms around you and just give yourself a nice hug here. Draw the chin to the chest. Couple of breaths here. Deep inhale and exhale. Release the arms down back into your mountain. Inhale, we lift the arms all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, hands meet in prayer and bow forward, bringing the hands down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands to floor or shin. Exhale, hands come down as you step back into your plank pose. Knees come down, followed by chin and chest. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, push back into your downward dog. Inhale, come up onto the toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step or hop to the top of your mat as you land in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let go and surrender down once more. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. 
arms go up to the sky, hands meet in prayer. And as you exhale, prayer comes down to heart center and release. Inhale, rise the arms up once more, hands meet in prayer. Exhale, bow forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, step or jump back to your plank. Knees, chest, chin, or halfway down through Chaturanga, making the elbows tuck into the body. Inhale to upward dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And take a couple of breaths here in your downward dog. Remembering to use your Ujjayi breath, your ocean breath. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky and bend the right knee as you open the hips over to the right side and just send your gaze under the right armpit. And start to draw circles with your knee here. Couple more. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to take the right leg out to the outer side of the right hand, to the outer edge of the mat. Drop the left knee followed by the left foot. And just stay here for a moment. Make sure that your hands are stacked underneath your shoulders. Take a deep inhale as you lift the arm over to the right side. Find length as the energy draws the hands towards the sky. And as you exhale, plant the hands back down. Now, if this is enough on your hips, you can stay here. Or if you'd like more, come down onto the forearm. You may find that the foot may come up slightly, that's okay. And send the gaze down to the earth. Breathe into your stretch. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently walk back up onto the hand and then send the right hand to the right knee as you gently push the knee further out just to widen the hips here and deepen that stretch. Send the gaze towards the sky so you're opening your heart. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, the right hand comes back down to the floor. Untuck the left toes and step back into your downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg this time. Bend the left knee as you open the hip and send your gaze through the left armpit. Draw some circles with your knee here. Loosening up the hips, your lizard pose. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, plant the left foot on the outer edge of the mat, outside of the left hand. Drop the right knee and the right foot. Just adjust your hands if you need to, to make sure the hands are stacked underneath the shoulders. Inhale, reach the left arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, plant the left hand down and stay here if this is enough with your hips. Otherwise, come down onto the forearms into your full lizard pose. Send the gaze to the ground, keeping a nice long neck. Take two more breaths. 
deep inhale. And as you exhale, push up onto your hands gently. And then take your left hand over to your left knee and just push the knee out whilst you send the gaze over to the left side towards the sky and open the chest to the left. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, plant the left hand back down to the mat, on top of the right toes, and then push back into your downward dog. You can walk out the feet once more, if that feels good. See if you can bring your chest further down to the earth. And inhale, lift the right leg all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the right knee as you pull it towards the chest and plant it in between your hands. Engage the legs here, pushing through the balls of the feet and the left foot. Inhale as you rise up to high crescent lunge. As you exhale, turn the back foot to a 90 degree angle, spreading the arms wide as you come into your warrior two. Make sure that the knees stack above the ankle here. If the arms are high up, flip the palm and then bring them back down as your shoulders naturally come lower down. Gaze over the middle finger of the right hand. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, float the right hand to the back of the room as the left hand comes down the leg. Exhale, float the right hand forward and see if you can bring the right hand to the floor next to your right foot as the left arm goes up to the sky. If you can't quite get down or if you're coming down in your chest coming forward, just bring your elbow up onto your right knee instead. We want to make sure that the chest is open and the arm is drawing towards the sky. Breathe into your stretch here. Two more breaths. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring the left hand down to meet the right. Pivot the left foot back onto the balls of the feet. And inhale as you lift the right arm this time. So sending the gaze up to the right hand as we twist. We're going to do a bit of a, a challenge pose next. I might fall with you. I've not done this too many times myself. So take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, come up as the right arm comes back and you come up into a high lunge twist. So you're twisting with the right arm back. So it's almost like a reverse warrior two mixed with a lunge. <laughs> Find your balance in your legs here. See if you can twist further by drawing the right hand further back. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, twist as you pivot the left foot back to a 90 degree angle. So you're coming back to your warrior two, flip the palms down and bend into your right knee. Deep inhale here. And as you exhale, float the right hand back. Inhale as you cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot and step back to your plank. Hugging the elbows in, we come down halfway through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg this time. And as you exhale, draw the left knee into the chest and plant the left foot in between the hands. 
steady on the feet, kick back through the heel, and inhale as you rise to your high crescent lunge. Exhale as you come out wide, bringing the right foot to a 90 degree angle, and bend into your warrior two. Adjust if you need to. If you can't see your big toe, just draw the knee further back. And really open the chest here. Find length in the arm and send your gaze over your middle finger in your left hand. Keep inhale together. And as you exhale, float the left hand back. And then inhale as you cartwheel the left hand down, keeping the left knee bent, right arm comes up to the sky. So the left hand comes down, Kick the left foot. If this is too much and you're twisting over, just bring your left elbow to your left knee. Gazing up towards the right hand now. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, bring the right hand down to meet the left, pivot onto the balls of the right foot, and inhale as you lift the left hand all the way to the sky for your twist. Deep inhale. And exhale as you come up to the left arm, left side. Arms are open, so the left arm draws back as you twist in your lunge. Engage the thigh muscle to keep your stability. Two more breaths here. Deep inhale and exhale as you circle the arms to the opposite side so the right hand comes back now and bend into your left knee back into your warrior two. Take a deep inhale, exhale, float the left hand back and then exhale as you cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot and step back into your plank. Exhaling, come down, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And let's just give the legs a little rest here. So coming down to the knees as the knees come wide. Big toes together, bring the chest down, back into your child's pose. Slowing down the breath. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, untuck the toes and come back into your downward dog. You can walk out the feet again. That feels good for you. And then all together, we're going to slowly start to walk to the top of our mat as we land in our forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms come up to the sky. Hands meet in prayer. Exhale, prayer comes down to heart center and release. If you want to grab some water, you can do before we move on to the next part of our practice. And then when you're all ready, I'd like you to take an inhale and take your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale as the hands meet in prayer and the prayer comes down to heart center. Find anchoring through the left foot here as you bring the right knee up. 
find your focus point on the floor to hold your balance. Then bring the right knee out to the side. You can use the right hand to help as you draw the right foot into the inner thigh. In your tree pose. If the thigh is too much, you can drop the foot to below the knee or the ankle. And press the thumbs into the heart center as you draw the shoulder blades back to the hip. Find strength and grounding in your tree. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, start to bring the right foot away from the thigh, but don't let the foot drop on the ground. We're going to kick the right foot behind us now. Foot is flexed as you kick through the right heel and bend forward into your warrior three. You can bend into the left knee if that's more comfortable. Keeping your hands in prayer and pressing the thumb against the heart center and lower the chest as much as feels comfortable. fall I will catch you and then just come back up and start again. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale bring the hands away from the chest as they come to the floor and see if you can draw the chest further down to the knee as the right leg begins to lift in your standing split. Take a deep inhale and then exhale as you bend the left knee, lower the right foot, dropping the right knee down and inhale up to your low crescent lunge. And as you exhale, cactus the arms out wide as you bend into the elbow. Inhale, arms come back up, hands make you prayer. Prayer comes to the heart center. And then bring the hands down to the floor as you join the right foot with the left and land in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, come back down once more. Inhale, come to standing. Arms come up to the sky. Hands meet in prayer. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. And bring your Thumbs to press against the heart center once more. Ground down and anchor in the right foot now. Find your balance as you lift your left knee. Left knee comes out to the left side. Bring the left foot into the thigh or below the knee if that feels better. You can bring the left hand down to help and then bring it back to your prayer. Thumbs press into the heart. See if you can open the chest more by pulling the shoulder blades back to kiss. And breathe in once more as you hold your tree pose. Can you find lightness in your balance as you trust in your stability? into your strength. Take a couple more breaths. Taking a deep inhale. As you exhale, start to bring the left foot away from the right leg. Keeping the left foot lifted as you kick back, bringing the chest down as you come into your warrior three. Bend into the right foot if that feels better. And see if you can kick further back through the left heel as you flex the foot to help with your balance. And remain in prayer as you press into your heart center and keep your gaze down to the earth. Take 
take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, hands come down as you come into your standing split. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, bend into the right knee, drop the left foot down, followed by the knee. Inhale, rise up to your low crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms out. Inhale, arms come back up, hands meet in prayer. Exhale, as prayer comes down to heart center, then bring the hands to the floor as you bring the left foot to meet the right in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come all the way back down. Inhale, roll up to standing. Arms come all the way up to the sky. Hands meet in prayer. Exhale as prayer comes down to heart center and release. And just lift each foot at a time. Just circle the ankles here. Just we've done a lot of work with our legs and our feet. So just giving them a quick break as we start to slow down our practice. Coming back to our standing pose. We're going through our final flow of the day. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bow forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands come down as you step up, jump back to the plank. At the bottom of your breath, come down, knees, chest, chin, or hug the elbows in through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, as you lift the right leg all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the right knee, but draw it across the body with it lifted as you try and meet the left wrist. Inhale. Bring the leg back up. Two more times. Exhale, bend the right knee, draw it across the chest to the left rib. Inhale, back up to the sky. Last round. Exhale, knee comes across the body to the left rib. And inhale as the right leg goes back up to the sky. On your exhale this time, draw the right knee into the chest. But take it across the body as it comes over to the right wrist this time and lower it to the floor. Drop the left leg and the left foot. And before we go into pigeon, just lift the chest here. Find openness in the heart. Connect with the breath. And then what I'd like you to do is see if you can bring the palm of the left hand down to the floor. Bend the left leg as the left foot comes up and send the right hand back as you grab on to the left foot and send your gaze over the right shoulder. Opening the chest here. Engage your ocean breath with your jayu breath. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently lower the left foot back down to the floor. Right hand comes back down in front of you. Walk the hands forward, down to the forearms first. If this is enough, stay here and send the gaze down to the earth. For those who want to go into full pigeon, walk the hands further forward as the chest follows down to the earth, followed by the forehead. Fully surrender down into your pigeon. 
you notice that your hip is kind of moving over to one side more than the other, just bring it back to center and you'll feel more of that benefit, more of the stretch through the right leg and the hip. As you rest here in your pigeon pose, have a think about what you can be more accepting of. Do you need to be more accepting of yourself? Do you need to be more accepting of others and their choices? Are you holding on to any bitterness and any grudges that you can just let go of? When we hold on to bitterness, it can only bring our souls down. To let go of it can make us feel more lifted and free. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, start to walk the hands back towards the body. Untuck the left toes as you kick back into your three-legged dog, so the right leg remains lifted. Just breathe here for a moment. And bend into your right knee as you open the hip over to the right side. Oh, sorry. Open the hip to the right side and send the gaze under the right armpit. And if you'd like more, start to bring that right foot behind you as it reaches the floor and your left arm lifts. Deep inhale and exhale as you bring the right hand back down, lift the right foot. And then exhale as the right foot comes down to the earth. Moving over to the left side now. Inhale as you lift the left leg. And as we did before, we exhale as we bring the left knee to the chest, but keep it lifted as it comes across to the right wrist. Inhale, lift the left leg back to the sky. Two more rounds. Exhale. Knee comes across the chest to the right wrist. Inhale as you lift the leg back up. Once more, exhale, left knee bends across to right wrist. And inhale as you lift the left leg back to the sky. This time as you exhale, bend the left knee and bring it across to meet the left wrist and drop the leg on the floor followed by the right leg at the right foot, and lift the chest here. Drop the right hand down to the floor, bend the right knee as the right foot lifts, and as you inhale, float the left hand behind you as you grab onto the right foot. Bend the gaze over the left elbow, Opening our chest once more. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, drop the left, uh, sorry, the right leg. As you bring the left hand back down to meet the right. Come down onto the forearm. 
If this is enough in your practice today, stay here and send the gaze to the floor to keep the neck long. Otherwise, stretch the hands all the way along the floor in front of you in your full pigeon. Chest comes down, followed by forehead. Check into the hips once more and make sure they're not swaying to one side. Pull it back to center as you feel that deep pull through the left hip on the left side. Can you find space in your heart here as you surrender down? Creating space to fill with unconditional love and compassion. To have full acceptance of yourself and for others. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, walk the hands back to the leg, untuck the right toe, and kick back into your three-legged dog. The left leg remains lifted. Bend the left knee over to the left side and send the gaze under the left armpit. And if you want more, start to bring that left foot back behind you as it reaches the floor, and you open the chest with the left arm lifted. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, bring the left foot back down, left foot lifts all the way back to the sky, and bring the left foot back down to the mat. Bring the right leg across the floor here, followed by the left leg crossing over the right, and then sit back into your seat. And bring the legs forward now and if you're at the back of your mat just shuffle to the top of the mat here soles of the feet are on the floor and just hold back onto the knee underneath the knees for a second and just open your chest find that deep connection in the breath let the heart rate slow down And then send the arms forward with the palms facing towards the sky. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, engage the core muscles as you begin to roll back, slow as you can, vertebrae by vertebrae. If this is too much on your back, use the forearms to help you come down. Make sure the feet don't lift off the mat. Keep engaging the core muscles. And as you get down to the mat, just do a full body stretch. Give your body just a quick rest. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, bend the knees into the chest as you hug your knees. 
and just pay gratitude to your body just for a minute. Close down the eyes and take a gentle rock from side to side. Massage your back into the floor, paying gratitude to your body and its strength. You can hold on to the knees and begin to draw circles, massaging the back more onto the floor. The knees in once more, and then draw the feet to the earth as the soles of the feet come down, keeping the knees bent. See if you can just walk the feet further back towards the glutes. Knees should be hip width apart, and then draw the palms towards the earth. Fingers should be able to scrape the back of the heel. If you have a block, you can use it for your bridge by popping it underneath the lower of the back. And when you're ready, inhale as you lift from the hips, followed by the lower back and then the top of the back. Notice if you're squeezing the glutes and let them go, you should be engaging the thigh muscles here to lift the body. If you want more, you can clasp the hands under the back as you come up onto the shoulders and just keep those legs engaged to make sure the knees don't draw too far apart. Drop the chin to the chest as you gaze towards the stomach. Breathe into your bridge pose. If you find you're dropping, lift up once more. Feel the strength in the leg, holding the body up. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, unclasp the hand and start to Bring the body down, starting from the top of the back and ending with the hips as you come back down to the floor. Now, for those of you who would like to challenge yourself here, we're going to go into a full wheel. So you can either rest here, go up into bridge once more, or follow me in wheel. So take your hands and place the palms next to the ears as the fingertips face the shoulder. If you've got hair in the way, I suggest you move it because it hurts when you hold on to it and you lift. It'll just pull you back down or you'll lose a bit of hair. And then using the strength in the body, you can adjust the feet if you need to. We inhale as we lift up into a full wheel. Feel free to adjust the feet when you come up into your wheel to find comfort. You can come up onto the toes if that feels good to help lift. Or just stay with the feet down. Only stay as long as feels comfortable. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, start to lower, starting with the crown, then lower the back, followed by the hips, and then hug the knees into the chest. And have a final rest here. Close down the eyes, massage the spine into the floor as you rock from side to side. Slowing down the breath after your wheel. And then take the peace fingers as you grab onto the big toes here. Make sure the shoulders are glued to the floor as you pull the knees open into your happy baby. And the reason I brought happy baby into our sequence today is 
it really pulls into the intention of acceptance. When we are brought into this world, we are born without any judgment, without any bias. We are a clean slate with unconditional love and compassion in our heart. See if you can bring yourself back to that state of being. Where we find pure joy in everything. We have no preconceptions. Take a gentle rock from side to side if that feels good. And when you're ready, bring the soles of the feet back down to the floor. And take the legs out wide as you come in to Shavasana. Arms come out to the wider side of the body. Arms face towards the sky. And notice any final tensions in the body or any final movements you need to make before you come into, into stillness, into full relaxation. If you haven't done so already, close the eyes. Turn inward once more. Feet sway out to the side and allow the body to deepen and fully surrender down into the earth. Find softness as the shoulders relax and the heart shines. You allow the muscles in the face to relax. The jaw relaxes. The lips part. And the tongue comes away from the lips and mouth. We breathe in. Inhale to good space. And as you exhale, flush out the back. We want to create space in our heart. heart. Unconditional love. Create space by accepting things that we just need to let go of. We inhale all the good things as we exhale back. We come back to the mantra. Warm back. Is what it is. You take that mantra with you through life to bring lightness into your life. When you're ready, bring some awareness back to the body now. The nose, with all the fingertips, fingers, 
Circle the ankles. Full body stretch if that feels good. And taking your time, just roll to the right side, bending the knee. And bring the right hand to make a pillow for the head. And take your time as you use the left hand as a lever to bring yourself back up to your seated position. Just let the Hands rest wherever feels comfortable for you. Sit tall. And all together, take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Inhale as we lift the arms all the way up to the sky and meet in prayer. Exhale as prayer comes down to heart center and bow your head to your hands as you press the thumbs into the heart center once more. May you take this feeling of wholeness in your heart and full acceptance with you. And may you find lightness in your life. Namaste.